Hey guys, Korth here coming at you today with a video on how to stream your 3DS using your tablet or phone. Now I've got the final results actually playing in the background here. This is my actual Twitch layout. And so this is not supposed to be capture card quality. There's no good substitute for capture card except a capture card. But this is more for people who want to start out on the Twitch universe, the tubing universe, and want to set up a donation goal to an eventual capture card and kind of get their feet wet and see what it's like. Anyway, so today what you're going to need is a wireless router or a wireless modem, either work. An Android device, yes, your tablet or phone must be Android for it to work on this tutorial. Now, if you can find something that works on the iPhone device, I couldn't, then more power to you. And follow along and great thumbs up, let me know in the comments. Uh, you're going to need some sort of tripod as well to lock down your phone or tablet. Nobody likes a shaky video. And you're going to need a way to lock down your 3DS as well, because nobody likes a shaky video. With these things in mind, let's continue. Alright, wonderful. So the first thing you're going to do is go onto your phone, go to the Google Play Store, and download this app called IP Webcam. It's going to have a little logo with a circle in it like this right here. You need this app right here. Now, I've not been able to get it to work with any other app, so you don't need any other webcam, but if you can, more power to you. Let me know in the comment section how that works. I'd be glad to learn another way. Uh, it is going to say, hey, would you like to download this pro version over here? You don't need that. We're going to cheap our way through this. So you download that app. When you pull it up, it should have an interface that looks like this. I recommend going to your video preferences and getting your appropriate resolutions and lowering the quality a bit. Because having everything maxed out, which is the default on this, it just kind of ends up being a choppy mess. And so you want to mess with that a bit, get your appropriate settings, and then you're going to scroll down at the very bottom of this and click Start Server. Make sure your tablet or phone is connected to the Wi-Fi or else this won't work properly. But once you click Start Server, which I can't scroll down to the bottom of the button to show you because this is a preview on my computer, it's going to pop up something like this. This is what your camera is going to see. It's like your phone is in camera mode or tablet. And what you're going to do is you're going to see a bunch of numbers down here. You're going to type in the IP address they give you down here, down to the very end, in your favorite web browser. And once you pop that in your web browser, it's going to show you how to mess with the settings. Alright, once you get those numbers punched in, you should be on a screen that looks something like this. We're going to go ahead and hit the browser button and see what our camera sees. So this is what my camera's pointed at right here. This is what we're seeing. This is what it's going to feed us. Now, over here, I've already adjusted my stream quality to 39%. That's a preset on my phone. See, if I go ahead and adjust it to 100%, it's going to get really choppy for me. So you adjust that however you like, whatever works for you. And now this zoom, we don't want to see this outer edging here. We want to get that zoom on level. We're going to go ahead and zoom to whatever's right for us. 109 looks fine. That's good. And uh, it keeps going in and out of focus. To keep that from happening, we're going to go ahead and auto hold. Now sometimes this does happen where the auto hold, auto focus hold does not work here. It doesn't manually adjust like it should. Uh, typically whenever I click that button, that's what happens. So we're going to go ahead and there's a way around this. We're going to go ahead and zoom out all the way. We're going to get ahead and hit manual under focus mode. And then we're going to hit auto focus hold. Oh, that kind of did not do what we wanted. There we go. Now it's all like, hey, it's focused, but it doesn't look that good. So we're going to go back down to focus mode and switch that back to smooth for recording. And it's already on its hold, so we've got that hold in there. Wonderful. And now we're just going to zoom in the appropriate level. Back to where it was. Oh, 1.09 works for me. Whatever works for you. And there we are. And this is what our feed will look like. Alright, now that we're back in OBS, there are a couple ways to get this going. Uh, I prefer the second method. The first method seems to be a little laggy for me personally, but if it works for you, this is the much simpler device. The second way requires the CLR browser plugin. So if the first one doesn't quite satisfy you, try the second one once you get CLR browser. See how that goes for you. So you're going to right click on your favorite layout in OBS. You're going to click add, video capture device, name it whatever you want, hit OK. And at the top section of the pop-up, there should be a device that says, oh, you want to use this device or this device? And you scroll down until you see MJPEG camera, or at least that's what it's listed under for me. If it's not, it might take a little bit of trial and error for you. And you want to hit OK. Now that's going to pop this up right here. And you can just go ahead and move this to the appropriate position, size it how you want, and there you go. Now this seems to be a little laggy for me, as you can see. 
and this is why I prefer the second option. Seems to run a whole lot smoother, at least for me. Even I'm chopping out there on the webcam. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the second method. Second method for that, you're gonna wanna pull up your favorite OBS Twitch scene again. You're wanna gonna right click, hit add CLR browser. Yet again, I mentioned this earlier, make sure you have the CLR browser plugin, because if you don't, you're not gonna have this option, and there are plenty of tutorials to get that. Uh, click add CLR browser, CLR browser, two, one, whatever, and you remember that little slip of numbers and dots and all that stuff, the, the IP, the address that they gave you to access the settings on your favorite browser? You want to type that number in again, and then at the very end of that, you're going to want to add the following. So make sure you type that verbatim and add this right here, slash browser fs dot html all right now once you put that at the very end of it you should come up with something that looks a whole lot like this what we saw it's going to pop up be a little big for a second maybe but then go back to normal proportions and then you can move this little slice of awesome around put it on your twitch scene size it appropriately and there you go you got your 3DS streaming on that. And yet again, this seems to be a little bit gimmicky as it sometimes goes in and out of focus. Definitely not a capture card. Uh, mess with the settings all you like. This seems to be less laggy for me and I'm not suffering so much on the second method. So it's whatever works for you. So one of the issues with my setup is how are you supposed to text people whenever you're streaming? You know, you're using your phone. Well, there is an app in the Google Play Store called Mighty Text. That's really helpful. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. Uh, if you like this video, let me know. Make sure to keep your phone plugged in because this uses a lot of juice and oh my gosh, that sunbeam is right in my eye.